Hello everyone and welcome to My Design Live Quick View, where we recap the main points, words of wisdom, and action steps from our latest episodes so you can get on with designing your life right away. Today we sat down with financial wealth expert and author of the number one best-selling book, Stress-Free Money, to learn how we can hit our money goals. So here's what you need to know. Number one, we are suffering from money stress. Sadly, over 75% of Americans admit to experiencing a high level of financial stress in their life. In fact, financial stress is the number one cause of divorce in America. It can also lead to increased risk of heart attack, obesity, accelerated hair loss, lack of sleep, diminished sex drive, depression, and much, much more. Next, it is not our fault. Education and systemic wealth repression has kept us from opportunities to understand the basics of financial planning and wealth management. On top of that, the financial industry itself benefits from making it very confusing. But now that you know that, the next step is up to you. While we don't need to become experts, there are some foundations that we need to grasp that can shield us from predatory practices while allowing us to make informed decisions for our financial health. You can easily learn these concepts in Chad's book called Stress-Free Money, which will give you a great place to start to get hold of how to do this. And number three, we need to know the truth about financial freedom. The term financial freedom has become synonymous with retiring early and living a life on the beaches of Bali. But true financial freedom is not simply a matter of having a lot of money. Rather, it is the peace of mind that comes from knowing what you want out of life and having a viable plan to achieve it. And next, the number one obstacle to financial freedom is lack of a clear goal not money. In order to reach true wealth, you need to clearly identify what that actually means and looks like to you. My version will be different from yours, which may even be different from your partner or your spouse. Taking the time to sit down and put to words what your idea of wealth is and looks like, instead of just choosing an arbitrary number to reach, is your first step to charting a financial plan that is attainable. And next, Use the so that, in quotes there, when identifying your money goals. So to keep out of this arbitrary number trap of setting wealth goals, use the transition so that to get to the real motivation of what you want to achieve. For example, I want to easily afford this type of house so that my family has enough room to expand and be comfortable. Vague goals equal vague results, so you need to get specific and find out what's underneath all of this. Number six, understand what fiduciary responsibility is or pay the price, quite literally. A fiduciary duty is a commitment to act in the best interest of another person or entity. A fiduciary duty exists when a person or a company is required to put another person's interests before their own. It arises from a relationship of trust and confidence, such as the relationship between doctors and their patients, or directors and their companies, or agents and their principals. The majority of advisors have a responsibility to the bank or to their company, not to you. This means that your best interest is not their concern, nor do they have any legal responsibility to do what's best for you. Even the most kind, honest agent, when in a predicament, will have to choose the bank or their employer over you by nature of their responsibility. This is why understanding what an independent fiduciary is and why it's such a big deal to know that. So, number seven, watch the F word closely. The financial industry is rife with financial fees. That's our F word. Many of them are hidden intentionally through complicated jargons and timelines to make it all seem very minimal. And to a novice, a number like 
1.5 to 3% can sound very small. But if you put money away in a retirement account to grow to $500,000 and end up paying 1.5% in fees each year, you would actually only finish with 380,000 after your 30 years. That's $220,000 in fees. So again, it's not about knowing everything, but it is about understanding what you don't know in order to ask the right questions and find an advisor that you can trust. Point eight, don't let your feelings get in the way. Emotions drive all of our behaviors, whether we get out of bed early, if we splurge on that pair of shoes, to how we treat our loved ones. And it's no different when we look at something as important as our financial stability and future. I'm sure you know that emotions have led to decisions that have guided us through some tough paths. So we've all heard the age old story of the hot stock tip that the guy invested all into just to lose it the next day. That hunch or feeling left in him a whole lot of nothing. So more times than not, a feeling is FOMO more than it is intuition. So it's important to recognize when we're looking through emotional glasses and to know how to take them off when necessary. This is also why having someone that is not emotionally connected to your goals and dreams, yet holds themselves to making decisions in your best interest is such a huge asset to have. And there are also seven obstacles to overcome so you can unlock your uh, path to financial freedom. And Chad's book, Stress-Free Money, is a short, only 140 pages, um, and easy to grasp manual that will get you started. So I have personally taken his tips into my own arsenal for financial planning. So what's the next step? Well, when we asked Chad what the first most important thing to do is, he said getting clarity with your financial goals by having that discussion and writing it down and using the so that plan to understand what you're actually aiming for before, before trying to take action towards it. So get clear on your financial goals. Now that's it. So in the meantime, you can find out more about Chad on his website at pacificcapital.com and on LinkedIn under Chad Willardson. And make sure to go check out his book, Stress-Free Money on Amazon. If you want to learn more, check out the full episode called Stress-Free Money on the Tanya MFK YouTube channel and learn more about our courses, workshops, and coaching at tanyamfk.com. Remember, your someday starts right now. So make it the best. I'm Tanya MFK, and I'll see you next time.